So I'm doing some more planting today. The magpies are going crazy, <laughs> so ignore that. This is some uh, melaleuca. I've put the leaves and the little stem in there to help me um, remember. I think it might be the uh, melaleuca cunconevera. I don't know how to pronounce it, but look at those seeds. They're very thin, but I think it's got the five veins on it. See there? One, one, two, three, four, five. But I'm not 100% on that. That's the broadleaf paper bark. But um, yeah, here, regardless, I've planted these ones. I've planted a lot of seeds in it. I've learned from my last batch that basically, if you don't plant enough, a lot of the seeds won't be viable. So I'm just being extra, like, careful. Same with these. Um, they're a, a eucalypt variety, but I'm not sure what. I found them on the street, and I thought, <laughs> there's plenty of seeds, so... Better plant them. So I've got all these more to plant. I've got a bunch of seeds in here that I'm going to plant. Not sure which ones yet. And I've also got these two that are gonna put about maybe three different spots of seeds. Same thing with uh, these guys. These are a um, casuarina variety. Um, these are the seeds. I'm not sure exactly what it is. If anyone could help me identify, that'd be great. I haven't gone that much into it but I will find out, but they've got like a little bit bigger seeds, I believe, than the A. literalis, the Alicajarina literalis, which is the other variety that I have uh, planted, and actually they've sprouted, so I'll show you a video of those to come. So I've got a lot of these seeds, let me show you. These kind, I just planted a bunch of them. They're another eucalypt variety, they're different than these guys, so look at the difference. I got some, uh, I, I guess uh, extant operculum or something. Um, anyways, or valves, uh, uh, extruding valves or something, whatever. But here's that. I'm planting a lot of these seeds because um, I really want them to sprout. I want to give them the best chance that I can get. And I think that this is a, a literalis again. I've got from a different tree this time. I've got a lot of seeds from that. But they look kind of different, so I think there might be even a different species. But either way, I'm going to plant him and find out. <laughs> and um, I'm going to put him in this one because I want more of these guys. Because there are many endemic species around here. So I've got these all planted. They look amazing. It looks like a little garden already. I've planted one, up one of these little seeds. I, I use these seeds markers to help me remember what seeds they were and um, hopefully help identify when they've started to, to sprout. So a little update inside now that we've got them all done. Look at how good that looks. Okay, so this is the mystery she oak that I think is different because look at the at literalis. That's a literalis for sure, I know. Same seed batch as my other guys. This looks slightly different the way that the pods have opened. Also the seeds, I think, look at that. These are more like red. These are more brown. So I'm intrigued to find out what this is. Then we've got Botrides, these two, um, oh god, <laughs> there, I uh, didn't have as many of those seeds, they, they're hard to get, which is annoying because they're a local variety that I'm trying to plant more of, yeah, and this is another mystery, the mystery, um, mystery casuarina, but I'm starting to think that, hmm, yeah, no, it's a different, yeah, look at all these amazing seeds. Now, these are the A. literalis that I just planted as well, that they've grown up and they've started to fucking get their first leaves. Look at that, and look how strong they are. They're looking really good, a little springy. Look at these babes. They are um, the Katrina Glackers, it says. And they've started to get their, like, oh, there's many, many leaves. So exciting. I'm so sad that I planted them, like, all together because honestly, that just makes me sad that they're probably gonna have to fight for space and one of them will have to die. Um, I planted some uh, eucalyptus robusta the other day. We'll see how they go. They're still, still waiting to sprout. Hopefully they do this time because um, I did plant them before and I think I had them in the wrong spot and I didn't water them enough and everything. 
Um, same with these. I've got Botrides in here, but only in a couple. These are an update of the first batch that I did. Still going good. A lot of them are really bunched together, and I honestly thought they were more of would have died off by now, but they're doing pretty well. Especially this guy. Again, there's like two plants there. This one's the strongest. Look how look how springy that is. I'm I'm excited by that. Anyway, one day I'll give an update on these guys, and hopefully I'll have identified maybe some more of them, or we'll see how they go, and hopefully they've sprouted. Um, so thanks for watching, guys.